In today's yin class, we're going to be deeply connected to the body. And we're going to use our breath to stay rooted and grounded in the present. So much of what we do and how we live takes us out of our bodies. And we start to have this massive disconnection from the body. The old science taught us that everything connected with the mind was in the brain. And so we always think of ourselves as being in our heads. And so we really disconnected from the body. But the new science tells us that the mind actually exists in every single cell. And there are more messages going from the body to the brain than there are from the brain to the body. So re-establishing this connection and removing ourselves from the space of being unhappy with the body, the body not looking the way we want it to or feeling the way we want it to, or somehow feeling that the body has failed us and coming into a space of really accepting this body for what it is, which is a beautiful gift from the divine and feeling that deep connection. So to get there now, we're just going to do a very short meditation. Have your hands resting on your knees and curl your index finger in towards your thumb in Vian Mudra on both hands. The spine lengthened and the elbows straight. And just take a lovely long deep inhalation through the nose. If it feels safe, close your eyes. And exhale deeply through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Start to visualize the path of the breath as the breath enters the body through the nose. And exhale, visualizing the release of carbon dioxide. Inhale, the belly expands, the chest expands, the lungs fill up with air and that beautiful oxygen enters the bloodstream and moves through your body, through the veins and the capillaries, reaching every single cell. And exhaling, and just becoming aware of the alchemy of breath, the magic and mystery of the universe encapsulated in the breath. And very gently, when it feels right, opening your eyes. We're just going to start by warming up the spine so you can bring your hands onto your knees and start to move from the base of the spine, inhaling as you lift your chest up and exhaling as you drop down. Notice how your head hardly moves at all. Your head stays beautifully in line with your spine, so this movement is really just coming from the base of the spine. And again, if it feels safe, closing your eyes, going within. Notice the slackening of your jaw, your tongue relaxing. See if you can feel the weight of your eyes. Beautiful awareness in the body as we gently start to awaken. Beautiful. Come back to center and move to a Sufi grind. So just massaging the internal organs. This is quite a free movement. And you want to really allow your body to lead you in this movement. You'll notice how each time you do it, it feels slightly different when you just allow and trust the body. Beautiful. Feel the intimacy of being connected. 
and change direction. That's it. Feeling that movement. And see, does this side feel like it's moving differently to the previous side? Just start to notice what's happening in the body, in the breath, in the movement. And take a moment of gratitude for this gift that you're giving yourself for being here and present. What a joy it is to be alive, to be here in this body and coming back to center. You can move into neck rolls, dropping your chin towards your chest and then inhaling as your head rolls back and exhaling across your chest. Beautiful movement. That's it, good. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. They'll maybe move a little bit. That's absolutely fine. And then change direction. Very nice. And come back to center. Bring your left hand onto the mat. And reach up with your right arm, bend your left elbow and stretch over, reaching over. Inhale back to center, change sides, right hand on the mat, left arm comes up, bend the right elbow and reach over. Beautiful, nice stretch. And back to center. And then interlink your hands behind your back, lift your chest up and let your arms lift up. Take a deep breath in, arch backwards and lead forwards with your chest, coming as far forwards as you can. Let your arms rise up behind you. And inhaling, coming back up. Very nice. Shake it out. Shake it out. Whole body shake, shake, shake. Beautiful, and come back to center, good. So the breath we're going to use with this yin style class is the really deep ujjayi breath. So the ujjayi breath, you inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the nose, but you constrict the throat, so it sounds like this. What you want your breath to sound like is that that sound when you hold a shell to your ear and you hear the roar of the ocean in the shell, that's what you want your breath to sound like. So it's a deep inhale through the nose and an exhale through the constricted throat, the ujjayi breath. This is a really beautiful breath for calming the nervous system and for bringing you into presence and awareness. We're gonna start by coming onto the knees. And this exercise can be a little bit tricky. So you're sitting on your heels, bring your hands behind your back, lift your chest up, drop your head back, and then lift your knees up off the mat. So we're stretching the ankles. If it feels too strong, maybe you want to pop a cushion or a towel underneath your knees so you're not leaning, putting too much strain on the knees, but you're still getting that gentle stretch. So coming back. Lift your chest up, lift your knees up and start with your ujjayi breath. So you're recreating that sound of the ocean that you hear in a shell by constricting the throat. Listen to your body. See if this is okay. If it feels too strong on your ankles, maybe you drop your knees down to the mat again and you lift up through your chest. But just be really present with it, keeping the breath constant. Beautiful. That's it. 
Listen to your body, do what feels right for you. Stay present, stay aware. Chest is lift up, head drops back. And having your head falling backwards like this can also be really provocative for you. The throat is exposed, the chest is exposed. So just notice what emotions are coming up for you when you're in this very vulnerable position, exposing the chest, exposing the throat. Lovely, long, deep breathing. Stay with it. Keep your breath constant. Keep your breath intentional and purposeful. Beautiful. Last few seconds. Feel what your body needs. And coming back up. That's right. Sitting on your heels. Take a long, deep breath in. Hold your breath and squeeze more band by lifting the pelvic floor and your anal muscles. Keep your breath held in and visualize the breath as a beautiful, healing, white light. Take more breath in. And exhale, release the breath. Beautiful. Feel what you're feeling. Feel connected and present. Remember these pockets of stillness and silence for the real yoga. This is where the magic happens. And then bring your hands to the mat. Tuck your toes under and straighten your legs. And then walk your feet, your hands towards your feet. Now you can bring your hands behind your back, lift your arms up. And just dangle forward. So keep your knees soft. Knees aren't completely straight. Tailbone is lifting up and head and neck are completely relaxed. Continue with your beautiful, long, deep Ujjayi breath. Listening to your body. See if you need to release your arms and hold them in front of you maybe. Really trusting that your body knows exactly what it needs. Lovely, long, deep breathing. Exhaling through the constricted throat. Feeling present. And allowing yourself to experience the sensations in your body. Knowing that it is your body that is your link. It is through the body that we experience the fullness and the beauty of life. Learning to distinguish between discomfort and pain. Knowing that discomfort is absolutely fine, but pain is never okay. Beautiful. Listen to your body. If you need to come up, come up. Do whatever feels right. That's it. Beautiful. And release your arms. Come down to a squatting position. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands between your knees and let your hips just hang down. Lovely, long, deep breathing. Staying with the breath. With each exhalation, softening and deepening. Beautiful. Very gently coming down. 
want you to bring the soles of your feet together, your spine nice and straight. And gently press your elbows onto your knees. Now we're not bouncing the knees, we're just gently pressing the elbows. Close your eyes and let your body soften forwards. Continue with long, deep breathing. Beautiful. Using the breath to stay present, to experience the sensations of being in your body. Feel your connection to all that is, to all that was, to all that will ever be. Now I want you to grab a cushion or a blanket anything rolled up that you can hold on to. Wrap your arms around it. And then keeping the soles of your feet together, push your feet away from your body as far as they can go, so long as the feet are still touching. And using your cushion or your blanket or maybe several cushions or a big blanket, I want you to lie down between your legs. And continue with that beautiful, long, deep breathing. Now you're going to feel a lovely stretch through your hips and a deep comfort as you hold yourself. Feel yourself supported from within and without. Feel that beautiful connection. Notice any areas of tension in your body and soften those areas. Feel the embrace being held, loved and supported by yourself, knowing that everything we need we hold within us. Stay with your ujjayi breath, exhaling through the constricted throat and hearing that sound of the ocean. And very gently curling up. Beautiful. And just sit here for a moment. Experience what's happening in your body. Experience being here, being present. And then you can bring your knees together. Bring your feet towards your body. Bring your hands behind your back. And we're going to drop the knees to the left, keeping the body facing forward, and then changing side. So the movement is coming from the hips. And you want to move at a pace that feels right for you. So maybe you're moving really slowly. Maybe you're moving really quickly but just trusting that your body knows exactly what it needs. That's right, good. Just keep up with those movements. That's it, beautiful. See how this feels for your body. See what happens in your mind. Notice what's happening with your breath. Beautiful, coming back to center. Nice, long, deep breath in. 
Hold your breath, squeeze more band, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles. And as you hold the breath in, visualize the breath as a healing white light. And imagine that beautiful white light is going to every single cell in your body. Take more breath in. And exhale. Beautiful. Going to remain on the mat. You can bend your right foot in towards your left thigh and extend your left leg. Turn to face your left leg and relax down over that left leg. Let your abdomen and chest relax fully and completely. Use your ujjayi breath, that beautiful strong exhalation through the constricted throat. To intensify the stretch. And as always, really listen to your body. Maybe today your knee needs to be bent a little bit. That's absolutely fine. Maybe you want to bring a cushion or a blanket underneath your knee. That's absolutely fine. Just really learn that your body is beautiful and perfect exactly the way it is. And trust that you can support it in whatever way it needs. And so wherever you are now, deeply relax. There's no forcing. The hands are free and relaxed. Maybe they're even facing upwards alongside your leg. Your neck and shoulders are softening. Feel that divine connection to the breath. Beautiful. Stay present. Stay aware. What a gift it is to be here, present in the body. And gently curling up. And then change sides. Extend your right leg out, bring your left foot in towards your right thigh, turn to face your right leg and gently relax down. And again, just check in with your body. Do I want to bring a cushion underneath my knee? Can I feel more supported? Can I feel more connected? How can I love myself even more right now? How can I support myself right now? Gently relaxing down. Keep using that beautiful exhalation to deeply connect to self. And see if you can surrender just one percent more. And giving yourself this beautiful gift of awareness and presence. And very gently curling up. You can bring both legs out in front of you. Now you can take your legs slightly apart. You can bend your knees and grab hold of your toes. If that doesn't feel right today, just grab hold of wherever you can. Now maybe you want to roll a blanket underneath your knees or bring a cushion underneath your knees, whatever feels right. Or maybe you don't. That's also okay. And then gently straightening your legs out, keeping them slightly apart, holding where you can. Now maybe you're supported by some cushions and then just very gently softening down. 
wherever that is for you. Long, deep breaths. The forward bend is a posture of surrender. We come into forward bend without judgment, without expectation. We come into forward bend with pure acceptance. And this posture reminds us so much of life. When we push and we force, we meet resistance. But when we surrender to flow, it becomes effortless. Feel that sweet surrender right now. Notice if there's any part of you that can soften even 1% more. And surrender to that. And very gently, curling up, take a long, deep inhalation. Hold your breath in as you squeeze more bund and lift the pelvic floor. Visualizing that breath as a beautiful, healing white light. And imagine it going to every single part of your body that needs healing right now. Feel the mystery and magic of that energy. Take more breath in and hold it. And exhale and just stay here for a moment. Stay here in the stillness, the gift of being present in your body. The magic of being here now. In the Radiant Sutras, Lauren Roche says to us, forget all of your ideas about the body. It is this way or it is that way. Just be with any area of it. This present body as permeated with limitless space, drenched in freedom. Such beautiful words, and we think how often we feel trapped by our bodies, but in fact we are freed by them. When we begin to accept them exactly as they are, you can come onto your hands and knees. Hands stacked underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Now we're going to drop the belly down and look up as we inhale and exhale, curling up and dropping the head down. Continuing now, inhale and exhale. And really trusting that the body knows what it needs right now. Trusting that you can go faster or slower and really feeling a connection to your spine. Feeling that movement, that connection, the joy of being here. That's it. Just keep going. Very nice. To your body. And coming back to neutral. Sit back on your heels. And relax. Taking a moment here in Balasana and Child's Pose. Staying connected and present. And then very gently curling up 
and we're going to come to Sphinx Pose. So coming onto your elbows, walk your knees backwards and lying down on your belly. We want the elbows stacked underneath the shoulders, lifting up through the shoulders, drop your head all the way back. And stay here in this posture, again, with your ujjayi breath. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the constricted throat. Focus on lifting up your chest and having your head as far back as possible. Feeling deeply connected to the breath. You can feel the movement of the chest. Lifting up, head back. Soften your face even as you deepen your breath. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue. And just see, maybe the corners of your mouth want to curl gently upwards into the half smile of the Buddha. See if that feels right for you now. And if you are in the Buddha's half smile, just notice what's happening to your body. Notice how that half smile changes the energy and the atmosphere around you. Beautiful. And then very gently, make a pillow with your hands. Bring your left hand on top of your right hand and place your right cheek on your left hand. And then you're going to bend your left knee up, keeping your leg on the floor and drawing the knee up towards the chest. And just relax here. Just stay present with your breath. That exhale through the constricted throat. Notice if you can support your body in any way. Notice if you're holding any tension anywhere. If you can release that tension. Notice if you can soften just 1% more. And release, and changing sides. Right hand on top of the left, left cheek resting on the right hand. And now the right knee is pulled up towards the chest. Softening and relaxing on each exhalation. Feeling this beautiful connection. to the miracle that is your body, to the alchemy of the breath, to all that is. Deeply connected. And coming back to center. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push up and back. Bring your toes together. Take your knees apart. And then lie forwards. But now maybe you've got a cushion. Maybe you've got a blanket rolled up underneath your chest. 
so that you're really well supported. And then just relax there, feeling supported, feeling held, knowing that you are exactly where you're meant to be right now. Beautiful, long, deep breaths. Allow your chest to surrender. Allow your breath to lengthen. Allow your body to soften. Complete surrender. And very gently curling up. Roll over onto your back. And hug your knees into your chest. Now wrap your arms around your knees and pull your knees into your chest. Tuck your tailbone under. Relax your shoulders and feel the entire length of your spine from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your neck, pressing into the mat. This is an active posture. So we're really using the strength of the arms to pull the knees and roll the tailbone down and press the neck into the mat. Staying present, staying connected. And on your next inhalation, release your arms. Take your arms out to shoulder height. Make sure your shoulders remain on the mat and drop your knees to the right. As you look over your left shoulder, keeping shoulders on the mat, getting a beautiful spinal twist. And just relax here. Use each exhalation to intensify, to soften. Trusting your body, connected and aware. absolute awe and gratitude. And coming back to center, changing sides, dropping your knees to the left and looking over your right shoulder. Staying present to all that is, to the magic, to the mystery, to the gift of this life. Come back to center. And extend both legs down onto your mat. You can take your feet mat distance apart. Palms face up slightly away from your body. And as we prepare for the final relaxation, you may want to cover yourself with a blanket. If lying on your back is uncomfortable for you, maybe you want to lie on your side. Maybe you need to support yourself with your cushion. 
just really trusting that whatever you need to do, your body already knows. And then giving yourself permission to relax fully and completely. Knowing that it is here, in the space of deep relaxation, that you are here. I relax my feet. I relax my feet. My feet are relaxed. I relax my calves and thighs. I relax my calves and thighs. My calves and thighs are relaxed. I relax my hips and buttocks. I relax my hips and buttocks. My hips and buttocks are relaxed. I relax my abdomen and chest. I relax my abdomen and chest. My abdomen and chest are relaxed. I relax my hands and arms. I relax my hands and arms. My hands and arms are relaxed. I relax my neck and shoulders. I relax my neck and shoulders. My neck and shoulders are relaxed. I relax my face, eyes, nose, mouth and tongue. My entire face is completely relaxed. I relax my entire body. My entire body 
is completely relaxed, filled with peace. And there is peace within you. Peace around me. Peace in all the world. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And you can start to very gently bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Gently moving your fingers and your toes. You can take your arms above your head, have a lovely stretch. And hugging your knees to your chest, rocking gently from side to side. Rolling over onto your right hand side for a moment. And when you're ready, pushing up and coming to Sukhasana, rub your hands together. Bring your hands to your heart center. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing space. Namaste.